the text that you can peruse at your ledger is found in the Old Testament. The book of Ecclesiastes, the fourth chapter, from verse 9 to verse 12. I'm not going to read all. I'll just read verse 9 and verse 10, which says to us from the New Living Translation. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. That is how the New Living Translation has it. Heavenly Father, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. I would have indicated earlier that the theme we are using for this year is stronger together. And I believe that the thinking behind the theme is to push us as a church, to push us as a people to recognize the importance of commitment, cooperation, and compassion. And I believe that if we are able to use those three, we can achieve a whole lot. Without holding slavishly to the text that I would have read, we recognize that two are better than one. The scripture says that one would put a thousand to flight, but two would put ten thousand. And as we work our way through this year, 2022, I want to say to us in no uncertain terms that if we are going to be stronger together, then it requires a level of commitment to God. Because ultimately, God is the one who is the chief, the head, the one who is in control of everything. And try as we want, if there is not a level of commitment to him, I submit to you that we won't be stronger together. Historically, the first Sunday of the year was a time when the seniors especially, and to a lesser extent, the younger persons, they would always renew their commitment to God. That was like a standing order when it came to the first Sunday of a new year. And I suppose it was born out of their reflecting on the year that, has, that had gone. And they would have realized, you know, we were not always what we were supposed to be. But this is our opportunity on the first day to say we want to make sure that we do it right. 
stronger together. Stronger together. My wife would tell you that I am the most miserable person when I have to preach. And you can answer in front of my face or behind my back. And if you would speak to 99% of the preachers, they would tell you that they are most miserable when they have to share the word of God. 99% of them would tell you that. Matter of fact, they would tell you about agonizing, etc. Because here it is, you have to prepare something that would fit different personalities, different persons, etc. And I'm saying to us, as we try to work through and grapple with being stronger together, it is going to need a level of commitment. Now, I drop in that part about being miserable intentionally because we wouldn't always see eye to eye. And you can say that's true, amen. But because we don't always see eye to eye, that ought not divide us, but that should help us to come to a place where we recognize that, you know what? We are going to be stronger together because I believe, could you imagine if all of us we're doing the same thing, the same way. No diversity, um, nothing. I'm not sure how exciting that would be. But the thing is, even though there's diversity, even though there are differences, it should make us stronger. It begins with our commitment to God. The second thing that I want to say to us today, as we think about the whole idea of being stronger together, it's not only the level of commitment to God, but there must be cooperation You know, sometimes things just don't make sense, but you do them nonetheless. You ever had an experience like that? When Noah was building the ark, I, I don't think that would have made any sense to, to the persons around those who were watching, but he had instruction from God to build the ark because God had intended to flood the earth. And Noah did exactly that. People laughed at him, etc. But the earth was flooded. And I'm saying to us today that sometimes someone might say something that simply does not make sense. But trust the person and trust the process. It, it, it happens in, in, in leadership. Um, it happens when you look at, when you look at sports, etc. You would realize that sometimes you change up the team. And to persons, now I'm no cricket fan, so I am, I am going to tread in some Shaky waters. But, but you can help me. Chris Gale wanted to go blazing. So Chris Gale felt that he should be a part of the team so that he could go in glory. You know they picked the man. 
No, no, no. The interesting thing about that is, no, I don't know what was the thinking behind the the, the selectors excluding him. Um, I'm not sure all that went through their minds, etc. But as a layman, I believe that if they had played or if they decided to play Chris Gale, then the team would lose. Da, da. No, 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 listen to me. You can whip me because you can say he ain't know them about cricket and I will say that's the truth. But, 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 but there has to be some thinking behind why he was excluded. And I'm saying that when we think of being stronger together and when we think about cooperation, we should not only look at our own individual gratification, but we should look at the bigger picture. So let's cooperate. And you know, I am constantly learning that sometimes when we see great leaders, when we see persons achieving greatness, we don't know the persons who are behind the scenes making sure that they look good. That's cooperation. Though there are persons who are behind the scenes working to ensure that you know what? You look good. So when I think of our own little situation right here at Church of God Salters, where we are now doing a blended approach to our service, we have Aisha who comes and makes sure that things are in place. We have Fabian and Dario who make sure that the song is going out clear and so on. We have Orlando who would assist from time to time. We have the musicians, um, Ryan and Deshaun. We have Kevin and Ruth and others. And I'm saying because of the working together, we are able to get something out there and it can only get better, better, better. So picture this. If I should decide I am not coming for whatever reason, Rangam is scrambling from keys to keyboard. Fabian gonna be scrambling, trying to work the projector and still. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I'm simply saying we need to cooperate and, and when we when we work, when we cooperate, when we work with each other, we recognize that because of that, we are stronger together and we are able to impact our community and our world. Amen. So, our commitment to God. Cooperation. And you know, you, 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 you roll out the vision, you constantly roll out the vision and so on. And sometimes persons will ask, well, what's the vision, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you, 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 you piecemeal in it and you're trying to flesh it out and so on. But then, the third thing that I want to say to us today, and the final thing, I have two more minutes. Um, the, the, the final thing I will want to say to us, is not only must there be a commitment to God, not only must there be cooperation, but I want to say to us that there must be a level of compassion. Hear what the word says. If one man falls alone, he's in real trouble. This is our challenge 
as we go through this year. And we're talking about compassion. There might be somebody that you know that used to serve the Lord. There might be somebody that you know and that I know that used to be committed to God, that used to cooperate, etc. But now, for whatever reason, they are no longer committed. And rather than going and condemning them, I am saying that we exercise some compassion and let them know, I miss you. How are things going? They might not necessarily have to be from this congregation or from this community. But the whole idea of exercising compassion. And I'm saying to you that you can preach a storm, sing a storm. But if there is no compassion, if persons don't realize that you care, it's meaningless. I conclude, as I would have said earlier, the small things that we sometimes take for granted. Two persons sent me messages recently. And I have not responded to them. Matter of fact, I call one and I said, boy, I am not usually at a loss for words. But your message to me was so touching that I honestly did not know how to respond. So we had a lengthy conversation and so on. The second one, and I'll put you to guess who it is, that's all right, is from someone from right here. And when I read that message, I was so touched. And then the, the conclusion of it was so moving. I said, well, you know, this way I said to myself, the same thing that I said to the first person, I said, boy, I am not deleting this at all. Because ever so often, I would go back to those words. And I'm saying that as a church, we must be a compassionate community of believers. Amen. Because you see, sometimes we are not as compassionate as we should, you know. We are quick to criticize and we are quick to condemn and we are quick to cast away, etc. But I'm saying to us finally that if we are going to be stronger together, in 2022 and beyond, it is going to require a level of commitment to God that does not hinge on feelings. If we are going to be stronger together in 2022 and beyond, there must be cooperation. And let me say, Every opinion is valued. Because if there's any person here today that can say to me that they know it all, I'm going to say, oh man, I'm glad that you're in heaven. When I get there, I'll see you. We don't know everything. So you value opinions. And I, 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 I said to persons in different settings, I remember while studying a girl about 11 years old at the time asked me a question, boy. And that girl literally floored me. No, I'm going to pretend and I, I answer with folly. I simply said to her, but I don't have the answer, but what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to check it out and I'll get back to you. And that I did. Picture Shantora sharing with us ideas. We value that. Picture other persons sharing with us and we are cooperating. And we are able to flesh it out and so on. Because at the end of the day, the glory belongs to God. So let's, let's cover it. And finally, my friends, compassion. The scripture tells us when Jesus saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion because they were like sheep without shepherd. And he said, the harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was moved with compassion. And I'm saying that when there's a commitment to God, when we're cooperating, etc., when we see things happening just like Jesus, we'll be moved with compassion. Over the next few weeks and months, we'll be fleshing this out. Let me tell you up front that I will not be the only one speaking to this subject. There will be other persons who would be sharing as well. And I always tell people, I don't mind if persons are, are better than I am. I love that actually. Because I always say to persons, when I see persons who are excelling and who are better than I am I just love it because I, I simply say I had a hand in that I'm good with that so I, I, I am not jealous I'm not envious or anything my, my only caution is hey don't forget don't forget don't forget don't forget where you've come from so others would be working this theme is stronger together. If the Lord spare lives on Sunday, Sunday being the 9th of January, there'll be the launching of this theme for the year, Stronger Together. And I want you to listen carefully. It's going to be a national service, which means we wouldn't have a service here on Sunday the 9th. It is slated for 9.30. If nothing changes, it's slated for 9.30 at Church of God, Orange Hill. Because of restrictions, etc., as we speak, the ministers are going to be in attendance. Um, We're not sure about the spouses yet, but for sure the ministers. And, and part of the process is that the ministers are going to be signing the charter. <laughs> hey! And, and the ministers are going to be covenanting and so on and we are sending the message that we'll be stronger together because if we're going to be stronger together it requires every single person to be on board I'm excited I believe that if we really lay hold of that, only God can stop 
what we can achieve in our church, in our community, and in our country. My friends, we can do it. Somebody sent out some post sometime, the flight that scheduled to take off, etc. And there are two things outside of all the things in it. I was going to use it, but since it was in circulation so much, I said no. But the two things. This flight does not take baggage. So leave that. Leave the baggage. And the destination is greatness. All 18 of our churches can achieve greatness. As we stand together, as we stand together, not sure, like I said, when we hit the launch. There are some things that are subject to change, but that's not the issue. I think it starts with every single individual who would say, I want to be a part. I want to be a part of this group who are saying that, you know what? We are going to be stronger together. And you know what? What? The, the person who sent the first message said to me, he said, listen man, stay at the crease. At this stage, you can't swipe. No, no, again, I'm a cricket man, but you know if you swipe, you run a risk again. No. He said, stay at the crease. And he went on to say, anytime you have any issues let's be in the middle of the wicket have a discussion and go back and back fresh could you imagine that that some member is going through some situation and there is a single person that you can call on a single person that you can share with because you have a fear that your story will be out there could you imagine that you fall in alone no way my friends if you are here this morning i'm always quick to point out we can have approximately six at the altar Say yes, we want to be stronger together. We can resurrect all kinds of things. And some people specialize in resurrecting. But you know what? We want to move past that. And we want to say, be are going to be stronger together. With God being at the helm. Our commitment to him. Our cooperating with him and with persons. And our extending compassion. If you're here this morning. We want to afford you that opportunity. Maybe, maybe you had a commitment to God and for some reason it is not what it used to be. That can change. That can change. That him and we are not going to sing all. All to Jesus. I surrender. All to him. 
I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. And we are simply saying, God, I'm surrendering all to you. We want to be stronger together. I believe with all my heart that when challenges come our way and we'll have challenges within the body of Christ, there should be a shoulder that we could lean on. It should be somebody who would be saying, I am in this with you. Wouldn't that make the church a glorious place to be? Knowing that not only God has your back, but they're your brothers and sisters that they got you stronger together.